What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over exactly how to create a real estate Facebook Messenger bot using the tool called MiniChat. So if you're here, you're probably looking for a Messenger bot for real estate using the tool MiniChat. Today, I'm gonna go over exactly how to create a Facebook Messenger bot. At the end, I'll let you have this exact Messenger bot for your real estate business, uh, if you're a loan officer, or even if you're a digital marketer, uh, you can have this real estate uh, bot for free. Uh, I'll link it in the description below. But we're going to get right into it. Uh, today, we're going to use a listing for your messenger bot. And you can do this a few different ways. Number one, you can go through lead forms. Uh, and then on the thank you page of a lead form, have the bot there. Uh, you can do the same thing with landing pages. So have the landing page, grab their name, email, phone number on the thank you page of that landing page. You can have this messenger bot there, or you can just take them in uh, through messenger from the get go, right? Facebook ad to messenger. A couple other cool things that you can do is if you have a pro account, you can do comment triggers. So if you do an organic post and you post it in all of your um, Facebook groups like real estate related groups like I know that Dallas Fort Worth DFW area has a real estate uh, Facebook group and you could just post your uh, listings in there and then people who comment on it if it's from your business page um, they can go in through this bot so just some really cool things that you can do there um, in terms of messenger bots organically as well uh, for this video I'm just going to show you the mini chat side of things so we're going to use uh, you know 123 Main Street goodness Main Street as our listing. And we're gonna go into how to not only give them the listing information, but also what can we do to get the lead into our MLS, right? Because that's what we really want out of our out of our leads. We want them to get into our home search tools and go search for tools so that we can, or search for homes, that is, so that we can figure out what they're looking for, right? And usually when you're marketing a listing, you're not necessarily wanting to sell that listing. Um, while that would be awesome, uh, you also want leads who are looking for more homes other than that listing, but are like that listing, right? So the price point, the area, uh, the amount of bedrooms, the amount of bathrooms, right? And then you can, you can show them a list of homes like this one. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, if you are using, um, just a quick overview here, if you're using a landing page or a lead form, you'll want to use the message reference URL, and then you can put that in the button, uh, whether it's on your landing page or on your lead form. Uh, if you are doing straight to Messenger, you'll want to do Facebook ads JSON. Uh, if you do comment triggers, you want to do the Facebook comments. For this video, we're going to go over the message reference URL, because that's what you'll probably use the most. So we're gonna click on that, and this is what the setup looks like. So it obviously gives you a generic uh, growth tool message here. Um, and then from here, you can go and edit that. If you already have one, you can replace it. For this, we're just gonna go and edit this, and we are going to totally tear this apart, right? So uh, on this, so a dream of it as you're, you have a landing page and it's on the thank you page, or you have a lead form and it's on the thank you page of the lead form. So what you want to do on those is you want to say, hey, grab the information immediately without going and checking your email. You can just click this button and then boom, we'll send it to you via Messenger. And so that's what we're going to do. The very first thing uh, we're going to do is say, hey, uh, you can add this title, right? So hey, first name, uh, click the button. You can, you can obviously thank them. You can customize this. You can create your own voice within each of these messages. Uh, I like to just get straight to the point here. So I just say click the button below to grab uh, the price, photos, and location. Oh, sorry. Location of this home. Uh, a couple other cool things that you can do with this. And then obviously you would say view more photos, view more photos. And then you would take them to the website where you're going to have them. So it'd be like www.adammiddlesworth.com or you know, I'm just gonna type in Google because that's easy. And then what you would do is continue this step so that you can create uh, more of these, right? And then for each of these, you wanna tag them, right? So they did perform an action. 
they clicked on our lead magnet. Right, so they're, they're a warm lead, they clicked on a, a lead magnet. The lead magnet is the listing, right? To view more homes or view more photos of the home. An, another cool thing that you can do is you can do a gallery and you can have uh, some, some photos of the home here. Uh, I'm gonna show you that in a second with a list of homes that you can do uh, so that you can basically get them onto your home search uh, from there. Right, so we say click the button below to grab the price, photos, and location of this home. You could say of this four bed, three bath home in Frisco or this five bed, four bath, uh, whatever it is, right? You can, you can customize this, make sure that they realize, you can even insert an image here and make sure that there's congruency between landing page, if you're, if you're using ClickFunnels and a landing page, um, you want the congruency from Facebook ad to landing page, to thank you page, to messenger. So if you use the same image every single time, if you use this exact same image that you had in your ad, on your landing page, and in messenger, uh, in the prospect's minds, they know where they're at. They feel comfortable there. So if you add an image here, that is a really cool uh, way to um, get more responses here. So add that image, you just come in here just like any other thing. You would go and add the image of the home, right? So if this is the image on your ad, you would go add that and that's what it would look like uh, for your prospects. And so they know what that looks like. Yes, I wanna go view more homes. It's more visual because real estate homes obviously are more visual. People love seeing that. So uh, grab more photos, we're just gonna use that. And then from here what we wanna do is, hey, would you like to see more homes like this one? So we're gonna add a delay so that it looks like a human being is copying or is, is um, writing, typing, right? Um, and so we're just gonna say, hey, would you like to see, would you like to see a list of homes um, just like this one? Or you can just say literally here is, depends on what your style is, how aggressive you are, personally, um, you really want Messenger to feel like a conversation and you want them to have micro commitments. So I personally want them to get uh, like three to five yeses every single time that I'm in Messenger. So I want them to say yes, right? So on the Facebook ad, they clicked once, they wanna see more information, that's one yes. If, they're doing, if you're doing lead forms or landing pages, they entered their information, right? So name, email, phone number, they said yes twice to you. They went to the thank you page on one of those and they said yes again, that's three yeses. And then they said yes again, if you, if you say, would you like to see a list of homes just like this one, four bed, three bath, 300,000, blah, 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 right? Uh, then that's four times that they're saying yes to you um, and they're more likely to do business with you the more times that they have those micro commitments. So that's just a, a psychology tool there. So if they say yes, we are gonna allow them to say no. If they say yes here, I'm gonna add a tag and I'm just gonna say interested, right? So a warm lead, they clicked lead magnet. Uh, and you can go and personalize this, right? So you could say warm lead clicked a list of homes. You can say warm lead clicked view more photos, right? Like we did over here. This would be a different um, deal. For this, I just keep it as warm lead, click the lead magnet. And then from here, we're gonna give them that list within Facebook Messenger. So we're gonna send another message here. We're gonna add that delay, because it looks like a person. And then we're gonna add a gallery here of photos. And then for each one, we can come in here and do another one, right? So we can come in here and say, like give the address as the title, right? So four, five, six, Cross Street, um, you know, Frisco, Texas, and then the zip code. And you would say, you know, four bedroom, three bath, oh, three bath, listed at whatever price, right? So 300,000. But you probably do, if you're smart, you do like 299, or whatever your pricing strategy is. Not judging that. Um, so this is what that would look like, right? So you've got uh, four, five, six, cross street. If you toggle over here, then you would do another one, right? So you'd have a similar um, 
home as your other one. So it would be 789 um, South Drive, Frisco, Texas, right? You would do that. You do four bedroom, three bathroom. Uh, for these, you will toggle over here, right? For this one, oh, excuse me, if you come in here and, and click in here, the URL is um, you know the web page, right? So if you have a a website that has this specific listing on your site and it's just that listing, you'd send them here, right? So it'd be you know Adam Middlesworth.com slash cross street, right? So slash cross, and that would take them to the listing page on your website for this specific um, property. If you have landing page software that allows you to have listing information of each home um, and there's no other options, that's a great, a great strategy as well. So if they come in here and if they click on this, um, they click on this photo, they will go into that URL or that, that landing page, right? You can also add view home here or view more info, that kind of thing, and, and send them to that same web page, right? And this is, I don't have this page up, uh, but you would just do like one to three cross, right? That kind of thing. And then for each one, oh, where did I go? For each one, you would come in here and add more, right? You can add as many as you want here. Um, there, I think, the, I don't even know what the limit is, but it would be, you know, another one, Main Street, Frisco, Texas, four bed. And you just continue adding them, right? So I would do maybe four or five, four, five, six, somewhere in that range. Uh, and you can kind of see an overview down below here, um, see how many you have, right? Uh, that's a really cool strategy that you can use right now uh, to create more engagement in your Facebook Messenger bot sequences. This uh, looks a little, little funky, um, but that's just another way that you can grab more information. Um, and then eventually what I would do is I would have this continue and I would create a smart delay to so create a delay. And we're going to wait a day. <clears throat> and we are going to go here and add a message. Uh, you don't need this. So you're just going to say, hey, first name. Ah, hey, first name. Did you have a chance to look at any of the homes I sent you yesterday? question and then you just say yes no honestly I would keep this open-ended and delete this and then when they answer then you can um, you can even do this if you have a pro account and you can add these and and have this uh, notify you so that's probably what I would do right so come in here exit this add this perform an action and then when they respond, you can um, do a notification. Maybe that's another one. Hold on. on. Action. Notify admins. There it is. I knew it was there. So this would come and notify you, right? So if you uh, want to be notified on Messenger, if you want to be notified on email, uh, if they respond to you there, then you can be notified and you can say, hey, you know, uh, this lead just responded to your question of, did you, and then I would put this in quotations, right? Did you have a chance to look at any of the homes I sent you yesterday? And then you know you've got an idea of what uh, you're coming to respond to, right? So that is a listing messenger bot that I would do. If they say no here, um, you can do whatever, right? So if you, would you like to see a list of homes? Uh, I would say just give them, I would say, okay, no problem. Um, is there anything else I can help you with? 
always have a question here, right? Uh, so that's here's a quick overview, right, of a of a listing, right? So hey, first name, click the button below to grab the price, photos, and location of this home. We are allowing them to say if they want to unsubscribe or stop, right? Uh, if they click on view more photos, that's going to take them to your landing page or uh, to your website with your listing information. If they click on that, we're going to tag them with a warm lead. Um, you can even add here more actions on. Um, Sorry about that. If you want to add on notifying admins, right? So you come in here, uh, full name, just clicked on view more photos of 123 Main Street. And then you would know what you're going to look at, right? And then you could do the same thing here, uh, but this is just a complete overview, right? So would you like to see a list of homes just like this one? I would even come in here and make this more specific, right? So if your listing is a four bedroom, three bath, I would say, would you like to see a list of homes that are four bedrooms, three bathroom in Frisco? Question. And then if they say yes, then they're going to go through these and you're going to have homes in Frisco, Texas that have four bedrooms and three bathrooms. They click on any of these, then they're going to go to your website with that specific information. And then the next day, we're going to send them and say, hey, first name, did you have a chance to look at any of the homes that I sent you yesterday? Creating an open loop conversation that allows them to answer and allows you to be a real estate agent and create more conversations for your real estate business. Guys, if you have any questions on any of this, comment down below. Um, I will give you this template uh, for free. I'll link it in the description. I'll even pin it in a comment. Um, that's going to take you in through Messenger. So you'll click on that link. You'll go to Messenger where I will send you this template. Uh, you'll obviously want to come in here and customize this for you and your business um, and your listing and all that jazz. Um, if you guys have any questions, again, throw them in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more real estate, loan officer, uh, digital marketing content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, and possibly on the weekend. Also, it would help me if you guys commented down below on which days and what time you watch YouTube videos. That would help me greatly uh, because my uh, mission is to help you guys grow your business, scale your business with Facebook ads and smart follow-up strategies. Uh, so if you would, comment down below. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.